right, today I'm reviewing the PSA Skin Clarifying Cream Silver Lining. And really quick, I just want to say, if you want to help support the channel, check out the links below. Give this video a thumbs up, share it. I purchase all these products with my own money, uh, so you can trust my opinion. And uh, anyway, there we go. So, I'm butchering the new intro every single time. You have to reprint it for me. <laughs> anyway, okay, so I didn't realize PSA Skin stood for purposeful skincare by allies because the brand that's a little bit more expensive allies of skin is this is like their cousin brand or sister brand but allies of skin most of their products are uh, upwards of a hundred dollars or more the PSA brand is a little bit more affordable the real title for this product is purposeful skincare by allies silver lining dioic and willow herb clarifying cream moisturizer for blemish and breakout prone skin it's a long title I'm just gonna call it silver lining and this cream is really quite wonderful. I, I'm really enjoying it. So I'm very happy to finally get a chance to thoroughly test it out and review it now. So, okay. So they say for consistently clarified skin, day and night, a daily clarifying cream containing 4% dioic acid and willow herb complex, 1% zinc PCA and silver that minimizes the appearance of breakouts and dark spots, soothes and calms for post-breakout redness and helps to prevent the likelihood of future blemishes formulated for all skin types. And I will say... This ingredient list that they have going in here is really an amazing one with a few ingredients I really have not seen or heard of in many other products I've reviewed. So I'm excited to talk all about that. Okay, so my first criteria is packaging. I love the packaging. I love silver. It's my favorite color next to black. Uh, it's easy to find. It's cute. They use 100% recycled paper and soy-based ink in all of their packaging. Although I don't know if this, this doesn't feel like paper, but anyway... Anyway, if you use TerraCycle, you can just send it back, and then they'll take care of all of that. So, anyway, I love the packaging. Uh, yeah, it's wonderful. I just love silver, so. Okay, in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. It's also fragrance-free and has no scent. The manufacturing location, I initially thought it was going to be Singapore or Korea, because this brand is based in Singapore, but this one is made in the U.S., uh, and then Allies Group is based in Singapore. So, it's made in the U.S., so anyway, I, I guess I thought it was going to be made in Singapore, but it's U.S. Okay, so ease of use. So I love the texture of this one. I just love it. It's got a wonderful like gel lotion texture to it, and a little bit of it goes a long way. So I recommend using a hazelnut-sized amount. You know what? I will admit, whenever a brand says use a pea-sized amount or a dime-sized amount or even sunscreen, use two tablespoons or a hazelnut, I just can never do it no matter whatever it is. I just... I don't know if it's a dime size or pea size like with tretinoin I can never make it work so I always need more or with sunscreen two tablespoons is a challenge because it seems like a lot but anyway so uh they recommend a hazelnut size uh, for me I just I like using more so anyway so you can smooth it over face after cleansing toning and serums they recommend avoiding the eye area if desired follow up with a face oil they recommend uh so for me a little bit of this smooths over skin really nicely in my morning routine. I like using this in my morning routine um, because of the texture, because of how quickly it absorbs, because of the finish it sets to. In my evening routine, it is not quite hydrating enough for me. Uh, I can fix that if I apply it, like if I use uh, retinoids, I can use this as a sandwich product. So I'll use this before the retinoid, then I'll use the retinoid, and then I'll use a thicker cream. That seems to work well for me. Uh, I can, I'm really looking forward to using this in the spring and summer when my skin doesn't need as much moisture. So I think it'll be great then for the winter. It's uh, on the verge of not being hydrated enough. Um, it's probably geared more towards oilier skin types, only say formulated for all types of skin. So if you have very dry skin, you're probably going to need to use something else with this. So keep that in mind, but um, really nice. So a little bit of it does a nice job. It absorbs pretty quickly. Um, layers nicely over vitamin C and sunscreen. Um, and again, if I use it in my evening routine, I'll use it with another thicker product, thicker moisturizer, or sometimes mix a drop of oil in with it can do it. Uh, it sets to a uh, natural, slightly radiant finish that is just slightly tacky. It is just a little bit sticky. However, um, you're probably going to apply something over this, so it's not going to be a huge deal unless, I guess, you're using your evening routine as the last step. Um, so it is just a little tacky. So anyway, but otherwise, very easy to use, wonderful texture, everything else. I'll talk about the ingredients in a second because there are, it is a fascinating ingredient list. 
and it's a long one. Okay, in terms of animal testing, this brand is PETA certified cruelty-free as well as vegan, so that's awesome. In terms of performance, I love this I love this moisturizer. I really love it. I think if you have oilier or acne-prone skin, I really think this could be something that will really help your routine. It's full of good ingredients, which is wonderful. I think I'm really hoping this spring and summer, hopefully it comes at some point because we've got snow every single day for like the last nine years or whatever. I don't know. It feels like years. Uh, but I hope when spring and summer comes, I think this will be the perfect amount of hydration for my skin for right now in the dry winter. It's not quite enough, but during the daytime, it, it it's just fine, especially if I use it under a, or over a hydrating vitamin C serum, it's just fine. Um, so can definitely layer it with a hydrating serum and that will help balance out the moisture um, fact in there. Uh, for acne prone skin, we've got a few ingredients of note, which um, most of these are not terribly comedogenic, but We've got pentaethrytal tetris, tetriosterate. That's one ingredient. We've got squalane, jojoba seed oil, and then vitamin E. So nothing terrible. And it's got a long ingredient list. So um, anyway, so love it. I think a lot of people should give this one a try because it's just very nice. So in terms of the price, it's a little pricey. So this is a full size 1.7 milliliters. 50 or 1.7 ounces, 50 milliliters, and retails for about $45. Although prices are different everywhere, but I'll link to it at Amazon. It's sold and fulfilled by uh, PSA Skin and Allies of Skin. So, which the brand used to be everywhere, and now it's kind of, I'm not seeing as many places as it used to be. So, okay, ingredients, and then we'll talk about the it factor. So, for the ingredients, we've got squalane, skin identical ingredient, antioxidant emollient. Sorry, Ike is. I don't know. He's napping and he's must be dreaming or something. Okay, then we've got octadenoic acid, which is a very interesting ingredient that I've not seen before. It's derived from sunflower seeds and closely chemically related to azelaic acid, which is one of my top favorite ingredients of all time. It has skin brightening properties that can help fade melasma, dark spots, and hyperpigmentation. It can also help prevent bacteria that promotes the growth of acne. So this ingredient, this doic acid, is... Uh, an amazing sounding ingredient with some, not a whole ton of research about behind it, but some promising research that shows it can help with brightening the skin, hyperpigmentation, melasma is a tough one to treat. So this ingredient I think could be really promising. It seems to be used in a lot of the Allies products, but not a lot, a lot of other brands seem to use it. So I'm very intrigued. I love azelaic acid, so if this one might be uh, similar to it and the next best thing since sliced bread, I'm all over it. Okay, then we've got ethyl macadamiate, which is a fatty acid emollient for macadamia nuts. We've got tamanu oil, a green yellowish oil coming from a place like Tahiti, Bora Bora, and Polynesia, similar to other more common plant oils. It's loaded with moisturizing fatty acids. Um, and suspected to have amazing healing and regenerative properties as well as wound healing properties. I believe the brand Farsley, Farsley uh, had just a tam pure tamanu oil, which was really wonderful and did help uh, hydrate the skin and, and really help with uh, wound healing. We've got niacinamide, skin brightening, berry repairing, anti-acne, jojoba seed oil, hydrating, berry repairing, zinc PCA, it's an anti-acne ingredient, humectant, it's also thought to help regulate oil production in the skin. We've got sodium ascorbyl phosphate, vitamin C derivative, stable form of vitamin C. Uh, not enough research has been done on it, but it may have photoprotective and antioxidant properties. It's also thought to help fight off acne. Uh, an amount of 1% of it is antimicrobial activity. Um, also showed on re in studies on real people. So more needs to be done on it, but it might be promising. Okay, lactobacillus ferment, soothing probiotic preservative, has anti-inflammatory and anti, uh, antioxidant properties, can help fight acne as well as promote a healthy skin microbiome. We've got epilobium augustiniflorum flower leaf stem extract, also known as willow herb, which is actually, I'm able to pronounce that. Plant extract with skin soothing and antioxidant benefits for skin. We've got Centella Asiatic Extract, Antioxidant, Skin Soothing, Anti-Inflammatory, Green Tea Leaf Extract, Antioxidant, Soothing, Anti-Carcinogenic, uh, Licorice Root Extract, Skin Soothing, Brightening, and Antioxidant, Alatlin, Skin Soothing Ingredient, uh, Visible Lou, uh, component of chamomile that is soothing for skin, 
We've got sodium PCA, skin identical ingredient, natural moisturizing factor. We've got colloidal silver, antimicrobial and antibacterial. It's toward the bottom of the ingredient list. I'm not totally certain colloidal silver is super beneficial for skin. Uh, so, uh, yeah, but anyway, they're not banking all their money on that one ingredient, so that's a good thing. And then vitamin E, antioxidant, and malic acid, AHA exfoliant. So, really wonderful ingredient list full of soothing, brightening ingredients, uh, bacteria-fighting ingredients. It's, it's an amazing formulated product, and if you've always wanted to try Allies of Skin products, but they're too expensive, PSA has a, just a great line of products, and they're all fragrance-free, so I love that. Their cleanser is wonderful. Um, okay, then in terms of the Ed Factor, it's a really nice moisturizer, wonderful formulation, contains some amazing ingredients, especially that doic acid, which I real didn't realize is very close to as lake acid. I haven't really seen it before, but... This stuff is just amazing. There's really nothing bad I can say about it. It's a little expensive, um, and that's about it. But other than that, it's wonderful. So um, anyway, okay, so with a 10 being a perfect score, I give this one a 9. It's lovely. Highly recommend checking it out. Um, interested in hearing from you guys if you had a chance to check this one out yet or not, and if you have what your thoughts are. So uh, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys, and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.